and a warm welcome. We're at the campus of India's number one business school, the Indian Institute of Management in Ahmedabad. And with me is one of IIMA's most famous alumni, Chetan Bhagat. Chetan, welcome to Job We Met. Thank you, Rahul. It's terrific to have you back with us. Yes, it's my second time on Job We Met. Yes, that yes. was an IIT. That was an IIT Delhi. So you have the unique distinction of <laughs> they've been done an interview with me in both my campuses. In fact, the last Job We Met was 2018. And that was done in IIT Delhi, and here we are in IIM Ahmedabad. So you're just showing off how well educated you are. Uh, you wanted you. I think you have a campus fixation. I think you always. I think you've also been here. I've done a course in executive education on finance over here. Wow. Uh, and a lot of ragada, I must tell you, which you can tell us a little bit about because I also studied on uh, campus at Harvard Business School. Much lesser ragada there. So much Harvard more ragada here. Easier than IIM. No, they have very different styles, and we can build on that here because of the style of pedagogy. So much focus on academics theory. There, it's more practical more discussion oriented not as much focus on just core theory I think that's the difference okay well I've not been to Harvard but yes it was I wouldn't say it was a cake well, you were here from 95 to 97 yeah and then to you know the uh, we did have fun but it is a lot of work yeah it's a, it's very intense course uh, the even the the full MBA is almost like little less than two years only and uh, you have to study a lot but it's you know it's what you do here this Every is also where your film uh, was shot right two states yes this so we are today walking around uh, so this is film where you location break into a dance somewhere so arjun kapoor did arjun, arjun kapoor did dancing. two states is the only movie in uh, bollywood so far that has been shot in i am ahmedabad uh, they normally never give permission. You saw how difficult it was to get permission. So, but they have very good regards for me. And they say, I said, please, let's do it here. So, yeah, it's a, not just a campus tour today. It's a movie location tour also. So, you have a new book out, 11 yes. Rules for Life, Secrets yes. to Level Up. What is a largely romance writer mm. pivoting to now writing these self-motivation, self-help kind of books? I think I have a connect with India's youth and I've been writing for them for many long time. They've been reading me and I try to write based on what, I don't know, call it a gut feel, call it from the heart on what I think they need right now. You know, here's what I hope to do, Chetan. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll go through your book rule by rule and maybe you can give us a shorter, concise version of what you're trying to say in each of the rules so that those who are watching can then hopefully try and tap into yes. uh, some of your learnings in life and see if they can benefit from it. So let's start with, you know, one of the rules that you have over here where you're talking about mastering your emotions. Yes, yes. It's a uniquely human to be, have emotions, you know, when you feel joy, anger, sadness, happiness, and they make us human. But as I often say, that in life, you have never had any big deal in your life. So it's because of emotion. Hota hai. Yeah. You know, we often make decisions in that moment, which are giving us gratification at that moment. I say, your boss has said something to you. Or someone doesn't say anything to you. And you got angry and you just socked him, which is extreme. Or you just yell at him. Or you just yell at him. Or you go in a bar and have a fight. Or at an extreme, an idealist who becomes a suicide bomber. Or even things like when you see a gulab jamun in front of you and you feel like, oh God, that looks amazing. And your emotions drive you to just have it. Even though it's not good for you. So emotions, when not kept in control, uh, can literally ruin your life, destroy your life. Uh -huh. So I think we all must have emotions. It's not a robot, but we must be able to master our emotions. Also, you have to be able to read other people's emotions. Everybody is human. Even a nuclear physicist is human. Uh -huh. You know, they, they, they may have a son or they may have a thing. So people must, you must know how to read other people's emotions. That's called emotional mastery. When you can control your own emotions and you can read other people's emotions. And if you don't do that, no matter how smart you are, how hardworking you are, you're not gonna do that well in life. Logic and emotion go hand in hand, but the logic has to be on top of emotion. You know, but the feel that some of your fan club could potentially get is that earlier his books were fun. Now giving a right? You know, is this like your attempt to give back whatever you've distilled in these 50 years to people who uh, follow you? So, you know, I was extremely scared of this huh. judgment. Ki gyan de huh. gyan de wale uncle a because my books are not that. I am not that person. Yeah. You've known me for so long. So the idea was to give some gyan, but make it hyper personal. Huh. So if you read the book, it's not just key 11 rules. Hai. There's a lot of revelations of my own story. 
each rule has come from my mistake. So when, where, where were the times when I emotionally couldn't control myself? Where were the times where I screwed up? And I think that suddenly makes it more like a friend talking to you than um, just pure gyan. But there is some gyan, of course. It's not half girlfriend. The other rule, Chetan, that stands out as being interesting is where you're advising people to chase the hard things. So why don't you only explain why you're saying do the hard things first? You know, because when I was young, I was from middle class background, so I used to feel ek din bahut ameer hona. Paise kamane and fir ash karenge. I thought like rich people, they roll in silk sheets and eat grapes all day. So I said, they are in the chadar of reshan. But actually, that's a terrible life. Terrible, terrible life if you have nothing to do. Firstly, you're basically, if you just lie in bed all day, your body will atrophy. And mentally, you'll get depression, anxiety, all these other things. So, life is about stress and recovery. In the gym also, it's like that. If you only do recovery, which is, means you want a chill life, it's a miserable life. If you only have stress, you'll have a miserable life. But you must have some stress. And the stress ideally should be the stress you have chosen. Whether it's fitness, whether it's your career, whatever. If you don't, bill will come to life. Mein. Wo fir blood pressure ka stress is more than enough. Heart disease ka stress is more than enough. Unemployment ka stress is more than enough. So might as well take the stress which is productive to you and go and chase it. Never think that happy life is easy life. You know? Hi guys. So Speaking what's... of hard things, these are all people who are chasing hard things. They're all IMA students, right? Yeah, yes. You know, this canteen wasn't there when I was in campus. This campus only wasn't there. We are going to go to the old campus, which is, for us, it's still the OG. This still feels like a thoda Xerox copy <laughs> of the old one. Since you're talking to people about doing the hard things, uh, what is it that you're most worried about at this time? What's your number one concern? Um, I think during the course year, the number one concern was meeting all the deadlines. Uh, I think you would know all the 11, 59, 59, uh, that was the submission time. Uh, midnight would be the submission time, so that used to be... Uh, so they give submission, like they said deadline, and they literally will write 11, 59 p.m. So to the time pe dete de ki time pe people, it's sir. called the run, and then people are running and like submitting at last minute yeah. and things like that. Also, the food is here. Yeah. Thank you, bhaiya. So Rahul's reminding me of my father-in-law. Because yes, you ordered curd rice and that's what he eats. the dosa. I'm, I'm okay. I'm entitled. Of course. <laughs> but who orders curd rice is so hardcore South Indian Tamil dish. No, so my father was commanding officer of a Tamilian battalion. It was a Tambi battalion. So I'm very happy eating curd rice. Do people ask you, is campus like two states? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, people does, and we also like created a reel on that, like on the places of uh, two states which they are, and actually which they are here on the campus. Oh, so what what uh, about campus is actually like two states, and what is not? It's it's pretty much same the campus. Uh, other uh, other than that, it's a movie, and we are in the real life. So you guys so. don't do, uh, you don't dance in the library. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> and no, do that. We but we no created few part. of the leads and all. <laughs> so, what was your most favorite spot in the campus? Well, it was my room when my girlfriend came over, <laughs> and we would study together. I don't know what you guys thought. <laughs> so, when you look back at the images of re of your reunion, given what you thought of people while they were on campus. How did it change in 25 years? There was a huge difference between the 20th reunion, which I had five years back, versus 25th. So in the 20th, I could still see people still had that drive, you know. People would tell, exchange business cards, and I'm moving, and I'm becoming CEO, and I'm, I'm my partner. Too. Like subtle, uh, Showing subtle flexes. By the 25th reunion, suddenly, like, people are at an age which is close to 50. It's all changed. Nobody ever even said what title they are at. People were just dying to come to the reunion. People reached early. Nobody rushed to go back. And people were discussing their cholesterol levels, <laughs> not their <laughs> networks. So uh, oh, it changes. Huh? Why do you have a number uh, in your every book title? Is there a reason for that? Because of this place and I, because I am a banker and I am a numbers guy. I was a Microsoft Excel guy. In our Microsoft Word. <laughs> so, this is a memory. It's a memory of my past and, you know, sometimes we get, I get trapped into, oh, how much sales and did I get this fame or did I get this money or my contract value and all that. And then I want to sit back and realize, dude, I would be stuck in a bank reporting to work at 9 o'clock, making spreadsheets and I get to write books for a living. 
So this reminds me that okay, I don't have to do that anymore. So that that is amazing. Yeah. So we are now walking towards this area called Louis Kahn Plaza, which is named after the architect who designed this place. And that is the place where the convocation happens. If you remember two states, that movie where uh, when, you know, Arjun comes with his mother and Alia comes with her parents and they are sitting in a convocation and they have a fight right at the convocation. This is the ground. That is where it happened. That's where the shooting also happened. And in a, when we've come like in 10 days from now, the actual convocation for this batch is also happening here. Chetan, one of the other chapters that stands out as interesting for me is where you are giving tips on networking, right? Yes. How to connect with people. Yes. That's something, in, unfortunately, no one teaches no on one. campus. You know, it, sh it really should be a course at IIMA. We are telling people because that's the one forget thing which is IMA, actually most be? useful to determining whether you succeed or not. Yeah, forget IMA. Not everybody gets to come to IMA. Why not at schools? If you are an average job, bhi kar rahe ho, you must have an ability to connect with people, which doesn't mean they all have to be your friends. Since no one on campuses like IIM teaches networking, what are your top practical tips to anyone watching on how to improve their network? I think you, first of all, networking is not something you, I can just say, ki, these are the five rules. You f it all begins from having genuine interest in people. Like, if I want to network with you, it should not be, oh, yaar, Rahul ke saath network karta hai. Ye wo PR wali game ho jate hai. I, if I, I'm genuinely interested. Like I know you keep fit. Mera bhi fitness mein interest hai. To main aapse poochta hoon. Kiyar, how does a TV anchor who has to come on TV every night, how does he remain fit? Mera ye genuine query hai. Mainne aapse poochha. Aapne mujhe share kiya. Similarly, I can ask you. Hi guys, why are you hiding in the corner? You don't need to hide in the corner. And similarly, let's say you want to be curious about like how, how do writers think, how do they write books. So you ask me, so you know, you have to show this genuine interest in people. You have to show your love in people. You don't think that you can get what you can do. That's opportunism. That is the so-called PR you're saying. You just have to be a people person. Libraries always have a very soothing aura yes. to them. For a writer. Hey, who's that? That's my professor from the time that That's I did a shot over here. Professor Agar. How are you? It's lovely to see you. I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm very well. Hi, sir. Chetan. Nice to meet you. So, Professor Nagar teaches finance. I don't know whether he thinks I learned any finance or not, but he tried to. He tried very hard to teach finance. He was a very good student to have in the class. Yeah. Yes. I can't believe I'm asking. I feel like I'm in a PTA meeting. Good teacher, Mr. Arthi. He was very sincere, very disciplined. But he wants to know that he's breaking news. I'm going to go now. No, actually, the other participants in the program they were more interested in having pics with him. Ah. So they didn't want to distract him. His focus was on the program. They were more interested in having pics with him. Ah. So they didn't want to distract him. His focus was all on what is going on in the class. Ah. So what made you learn finance, though? I mean, you do news. Because my father always used to have a big problem with you know, people in the army elsewhere. That's, they simply didn't spend enough time understanding finance and accountancy. Yeah. So whether it was here at IIM Ahmedabad or Indian School of Business, later at Harvard Business School, I spent a lot of time actually investing in learning accountancy, finance, statistics, analytics. Which is yeah. all, which and helps. I, I do During not an election coverage. Yes. <laughs> 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 no, and and I don't want to make this about plugging my book again. But even though it's a book on life and on motivation, the last rule is earn, save, and invest. You cannot become rich just by a job. You have to invest. I feel, and people who invest only become wealthy. Whether you invest in your own venture or whether you invest in the markets or some other asset class, real estate, whatever. And a lot of people don't know that. So let's spend a moment, Chetan, talking about personal finance investment, which you've dedicated an entire chapter to, and again, a skill which really, to my mind, should be taught from school onwards. Of course. Money management is something, it's not only for experts, it's for every one of us. In fact, one of the less glamorous parts of my career, which never, people will just think I just left banking, and I was so brave, and I wrote books. It's not like that. I was in banking, I saved like hell as much as I could because I knew I wanted to quit. I invested it properly and I when Where I... Where did saved, you invest? What do you, you're more of an equity guy, mutual equity. fund guy, alternate investments? I'm more equity. I you mean, invest yourself? I invest myself because it's not the banking. Mein see, 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 I get yeah. my bosses and all used to learn, invest a lot. So I've learned a lot from them and I invest a lot in so tech. So what sectors are you hottest on right tech. now? Tech. Always has been tech focus or... I'll just tell for simple, for other people, just buy index funds. Just buy index funds. There's a uh, principle in finance called shut up and wait. Shut up and wait. That's all you need to do. 
It's like real estate, it's like anything, you have to wait 10, 20 years. But it's so hard for people to shut up and wait. They love to trade, they love to buy, sell, panic. And you have to do that. And I did that and that is why I could quit my job to become a writer. That boring world of finance gave, empowered me to do exciting things like taking career leaps. And I think that my book would have been incomplete, even though it's a book about life and motivation, without saying that you need to learn to invest. And I'm really happy you did a finance course too. By the way, this is probably one of the only libraries in the world, which because of me is in a Bollywood movie song. Ah. So Alia Bhatt and... Yeah, we dance fans, right? Yeah, yeah. They did keep authentic to the place and they all hide and they look at each other, all these glances from the library, but it was actually the real library. They didn't make a set. It's quite a nice library, actually. You know, the other rule that stands out uh, in your book, Chetan, is mm -hmm. where you're talking about putting yourself first. So explain yes. what that means. And there's a lot of, uh, there's an element of selfishness in a lot of your uh, rules for life. And you know, there has to be. No advice, no life advice, no self-help advice, no motivation advice is going to work if we don't prioritize ourselves. And Indians, in particular, we are very community conscious people. Samaj mein, society mein, humare, we all want to be good in relation to someone. We want to be a good father, good son, good spouse, good colleague, good this. And in that, we, we spend a lot of energy in trying to make other people happy and judge us and say, wow, you are good. But then what about us? You know, what about things we really want to do? And if you don't prioritize yourself, none of this advice is going to work. So I am giving people permission to say, you come first. Pehle tum apna dekho. Phir auro ki help kar sakte. Kisi ko, if you are not happy, you cannot make other people happy. That's a misnomer. You think you'll be miserable and you'll sacrifice your life to make other people happy. That's never going to happen. But a lot of people live exactly like that. Your next rule is about mastering simple English. Do you think that if English doesn't come, then there's nothing else in life. It's very difficult. There's nothing else in life. There's nothing else in life. There's nothing else in Indian languages. There's nothing else in Hindi, Sikhs, Sanskrit. There's a little politics in it. Our language preservation is a separate issue. But I did a podcast with somebody who is an IS in Hindi medium. He is a very senior and he said, Chetan, you can't understand, you are from Meerut. And he said, if you don't speak English, there are many doors open for you. You can't even think about it. Like multinational banks, all the people we interviewed in the canteen and they are talking about the companies they are in. They will not take you if you don't speak English. English is something जिसके बिना an average Indian will find it very difficult. It's of course possible. Of course it's possible without. क्यों मोदी जी तो PM बन गए हैं तो मोदी जी is a very good example. अमित शाह कौन सी अंग्रेजी बोलते हैं? But on an average, योगी आदित्यनाथ बने हुए हैं CM. Even if you are a cricketer, if you are a movie star, yeah, you don't need it. But for most people who are professionals, it's difficult. मैं खुद अगर मैं चेतन भगत हिंदी का लेखक होता, I don't think I would have had the profile I have today. You don't need to have very high fine English. Sashi Tharoor English need to be. Chetan Bhagat English need to be. But that's enough. That's why you have your marketing. What is marketing? I'm doing you below. Chetan Bhagat is known for many things. Fitness so far hasn't been one of them. I see now on your social media you're prioritizing fitness a lot. In fact, in your book it's the number one rule you want people to pay attention to. Rule number one. Whether you want, it's not just that you want to be a model or actor, even if you want to be engineer, lawyer, IS officer, businessman, writer, whatever, fitness will help you in every aspect of life and it's been the biggest mistake I made. Like the last job we met, if you can show some clips of that episode, I admitted I was fat at that time, I was 44. After that, somewhere, like maybe COVID more, so... Where did the fitness come from? I guess, sometimes it came, but it was necessary to come, because it was necessary to come in the fitness industry. Now, as we age, we, science has shown that we deteriorate muscle, we deteriorate our, uh, our cardiac ability, VO2 max and things like that. So we must be at a high level so that when the deterioration happens, we must go down to the top. We are trying to go down to the top of our body. That's it. So one of the compound lifts which I was always had a dream of doing was a pull-up. Okay. It's a very simple exercise. So, you know, kids play in park in the park and and like a pull-up is a very simple exercise, but the day you can do your own pull-up, it's a massive confidence booster. Let me try to do at least a couple of pull-ups. So you hold like this and not bad. So what difference has adding fitness into your daily regime? 
made to your life, Chetan? Yeah, you know, everybody thinks it's about losing weight or looking good, and uh, but the mental benefits are highly underrated. Just as it improves physical health, it improves mental health. What does that mean? It's like your focus, your concentration, your motivation to go out and do something in life, your happiness level, your mood levels, all this, this fitness will change. So this is a bench press where your chest, those kitne inch ki chhati chahiye aapko, aap is se lese. Aap bulking up me lage hoyo. Yes, so that's a bench press. And now it's your turn, Rahul. No, but the good thing is that you're taking out time, which also then uh, potentially motivates other people hmm. at a similar age and stage to try and do to the same. Do Agar ye bhi kar raha, bhai, tum, tum bhi kuch effort ah, if, if a writer can do it, you know, I'm not a John Abraham. I'm not a, somebody who needs... Baat aap bada Schwarzenegger se kam nahi John Abraham, Schwarzenegger. Think, oh, you mental, mental imagery is important. Wait, wait, wait. I'll come and... Uh, totally. yeah. Okay. That's pretty but good. But that's pretty good that at least you're making the effort. It's good to see that the students on campus are also yes, working hard. We never had such facilities and I'm really happy they do. So you and find time to come and work out? Hi, I'm Rahul. What's your name? Satvik. Hey, Satvik. Hi. <laughs> Chetan, you know, of course. Yeah. So you're big time into fitness? Yeah. yeah, since a long time. It's been four years around. So, so you find time to come here during classes or how does it work? Yeah, I'm an early bird, so I wake up early. What time? At six around, come here by seven. Huh. Get done with my workout in one hour, one minute and a half and get to class. What makes you come to fitness? What about fitness do you like the most? So it's it's more of pushing myself to the limits. So it's it's not it's something I find peace with. So Chetan, the two other rules that stand out in your book are eat the elephant and be the cockroach. Yes. What are you eating? What are you eating? Why are you making cockroaches? So if I tell you that you have to eat a cat, how do you eat? So all the people are angry. How can you eat a cat? How can you eat a cat? The cat is 3,000 kilos. But if I tell you that you have to eat a cat, and you have to eat a cat at lunch, at dinner, at night, 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 at night. It's possible. Will it be boring? Yes. It will be very boring. Will it be tedious? Yes. Will it be fun? No. That is the secret to achieving anything big in life. If you have a big deal with any human being, he will never eat a cat. All three cats will eat in life. Do the right thing you are saying. Yeah. What am I known for? Say, IIT. Let's say some people count that as my accomplishment. Why? Because I have eaten a cat in the IIT entrance. बुक लिखना रोज एक एक पेज करके 300 पेज मतलब एक साल मैंने हाथी खाया है सो इन द सेम वे इफ यू हैव डन एनीथिंग यू बिल्ड अ करियर अ ब्रांड नेम एज एन एंकर आपने भी हाथी खाया कर कर के न्यूज़ रोज जाके धक्के खा के धूप में न्यूज़ नथिंग विल हैपन दैट पीपल से कि हाँ यू हैव डन समथिंग वर्थ फाइल इन लाइफ अंटिल यू ईट दैट एलिफेंट विच इज अ वेरी बोरिंग प्रोसेस अनलेस यू आर बॉर्न इन टू सम रिच इज योर डैड इज समी बेग For normal middle class people to come up, there is only way to jump class, only way to cross your rakat, hati khaka. There is another rule called be the cockroach. That is about adaptability. Cockroach is the most adaptive creature of the world. It is like dinosaur ke time, it is also now. Cockroaches think that what means to be adaptive? Adjust. It's changing, it's changing, it's changing, it's okay. We will also change. And first, we were living in the jungle, now we have to live in Noida. ठीक है, रह लेंगे। कॉकरोचेस का ये एटीट्यूड है। कॉकरोच किसी भी जगह, किचन में, सोफे पे, बाथरूम में, कार में, हर जगह पन आप लेते हैं। मल्टीनेशनल। How do people become the cockroach? By being, training yourself to be okay with change. बदलाव आ रहा है, and you have to embrace it. Every field has seen change. I have tried to change. If I was just an author, which means just books, I would not have the kind of recognition, popularity that I have today. I realize social media has come, I had to be on it. I realize YouTube is a way people are doing content, I have to be on it. Even within my books, I realize that over time, same thing will not go. Five point someone, 20 years ago, two states have been booked for 15 years. I cannot keep doing that. Today, if I feel the young generation needs a guide to life, I'll do that. Something change. Something change, but we all get scared from change. And then you don't do well. Oh, hello, sir. How are you? How are you? Welcome Good. to the institute. Very Thank nice. Thank you. That's nice Dean Maheshwari. 
Rahul, nice. Hi, Rahul. Hey, how are you doing? Thank Very you for nice. having us here. <laughs> and uh, sir, nice. thank you. They, he is the person responsible for all the permissions. We got milti nahi hai permission, so we are very grateful no, that you no. allowed Having us. Having Chetan to... on campus is always a privilege, you know. No, no, no. Thank you, sir. Very, so very nice you. to see That's you. So nice to see you. And um, kaisa, like, how, what are the priorities now for your job, actually? Right now, there are many things that we are doing. So, from an alumni point of view, we are increasing the engagement many times. Uh, we are have going to have global alumni get together. We are going to have distinguished alumni lecture series. Yes. And uh, I spoke to you, you are going to be there. Oh, already I have locked my This is what happens at This is networking. No, no, you <laughs> get what you want, permission to shoot, and the yeah. dean says, boss, you have to come, and he can't charge you, so you should do it for free. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Hai aur aana hai. What's your biggest threat right now, sir? Biggest challenge, biggest threat? Uh, See, from academic point of view, I don't see uh, much happening, but I think from a pedagogy point of view, as you rightly said, AI, we need to integrate now in the teaching. Are you uh, using a lot of, of AI in classroom? Uh, students are using, but not in the classroom, but how does it happen? Uh, with time, I think uh, that's going to be an so important element. So are people element. doing assignments with ChatGPT? Oh, yes, they have started doing it, and uh, it's a challenge to some extent. But so Are you able to catch them or no? See, there are instructor to instructor. Some instructors say use it, you know, and they got to be innovative in assignments. So despite chat GPT, they need to think over. And there are some instructors who say don't use it. So their job is not to let them uh, make it happen. Our time, there was no computer in our house. Like we had laptops at that time. There was one computer yeah. center. We would go right. and like work at night there. And now like everybody has it in their phone. Mm -hmm. Chetan, this was a lot of fun Thank for you. taking our time and joining us and walking down memory lane and Thank telling you. us what the cockroach will do 10 years from now. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.